Namibia lies in southwest Africa. The Namib Desert stretches for almost 2,000 kilometers along the coast. To the north, the desert is crisscrossed by several dry river valleys. One of them is the Huanib Valley. It runs through the desert for several hundred kilometers and ends in the sea. Water flows here once, at most twice a year. Only deep-rooted plants like anna trees can survive here. Only here, within the valley, can mammals exist in the long term. It is the home of the desert elephants. In contrast to their other African relatives, desert elephants live in particularly small family groups. They are so rare and their way of life is so special that they're under the constant supervision of scientists who've also given the elephants names. The head of this family is alpha cow Clarissa. The animals don't leave her side for a moment. Only Clarissa knows how to survive in this extreme environment. The shoots of the anna tree are now ripe. The pods contain protein-rich seeds. Clarissa has known every one of these trees since her childhood. Even the youngest, Maya, tries the shoots. Here, however, experienced trunk tip control is required. It's easier for her to get the protein she needs from her mother's milk. Desert elephants only have half the number of calves as other elephants. The male animals stay with their mother's family until they reach sexual maturity. With mock fights, they prepare for life without the protection of the females. Adult bull elephants are loners or travel in small groups. Jappy is the most skillful of them. His younger brother watches enviously as Jappy brings down apparently unreachable branches from the tree. In the valley, Jappy is well known for such tricks. He learned them from his father. Friendship among bull elephants has its limits. Jappy is certainly not willing to share his branch with his younger brother. Their father, One Tusk, is now nearly 60 years old. His trademark is the missing right tusk, lost long ago in a hierarchical battle. For years, he was the undisputed king of the Huanib. Now he lives in seclusion. One tusk's legs are weak. He can no longer keep up. The aging bull is already being watched by a male jackal, which lives in the Huanib Valley with its partner. Jackals mostly hunt smaller animals, but they wouldn't turn their noses up at a dead elephant. In a side valley, Clarissa has discovered a further source of food. There's a wide selection of bushes, grasses and herbs.
The elephants' climbing skills far surpass those of their savanna-dwelling relatives. This, too, is a form of adaptation to their special habitat. Old One Tusk has at last reached one of the Anna trees in the Huanib Valley. But Clarissa and co. haven't left very much for him to eat. He desperately searches for something edible in the remnants. In vain. <laughs> 